Uh, Ruben Almanza was out of the 26th session of the Corpus Christi Police Department. Uh, I was a member of that class. Uh, we started in uh, August of 1975, and we finished in December of that same year. So, uh, uh, you know, I got to know him in the academy. He was a good student. He always would throw out some stuff that was pretty significant as opposed to many of the others. And, uh, and you know, he, he, was, uh, he, was, he was a really good, you know, he, you could tell that he really wanted the position. He worked really hard for it. He, uh, he was married. He had three daughters. He had uh, uh, Christina, Melissa, and Jennifer. Had a devoted wife and Irma, and uh, and he was really a he was really a good officer. Regardless of, of what his assignment, he always gave it a hundred percent, and and that's just simply the way he, the way he went. You know, he, you know, if uh, if things got bad, you didn't have to look for him. Uh, you could depend on him to be there when you needed him. You know, Ruben, Ruben had a he had an incredible smile. I mean, this guy, this guy, it was kind of a disarming smile. And no matter how, think, how bad things got, you know, this guy would flash it and it would somehow make you feel better. And, uh, and it, you know, it was, it was comical because uh, you didn't expect that from him. Because most of the time he looked very serious and kind of stoic. But, uh, but he, he made things better, he made things easier. And like, and like I mentioned earlier, he was, he, was, he, was a, he was a really good worker, you know, so. Uh, and when he would tell you a story, I mean, you, you, uh, whether it was in a break or whether, or whether you were having a bad day and, and you happened to come in on him and, and he was uh, upset or down over something, he'd actually make it very funny. You know, being a police officer, uh, we work under the, some pretty uh, difficult situations. And sometimes a, a fond memory to, is not exactly the same. But I'll tell you this, um, I get to the scene of, a, of a, where this woman had been attacked at a bar, and Ruben was working that bar. There was two bars who were right next to each other. One was the uh, carousel and the other one was the White Rabbit. And Ruben worked the carousel, which was, I think was a little bit tougher place to work. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyway, we get there and Ruben's trying to keep these guys from, from leaving and he's literally fighting three guys. He's fighting three guys. And of course, you know, we get there and, uh, and, uh, and, and I said, I, I, I thought you would have, I said, I thought you, you needed a little bit of help. And, and he said, um, he said, you guys don't have anything better to do. <laughs> and, then he, and then he flashed that smile, you know. You know? But, but don't get me wrong. This guy was so committed to everything that he did. And he was always so focused. But afterwards, there was a little bit of, you know, of humor. He was a sensitive guy. You know, he, he always talked about his daughters uh, and uh, called, you know, he, he called them his three little diamonds one time. And, uh, and, and, you know, he had a lot of terms of endearment for them. Uh, but a um, super guy, man, just fantastic, fantastic officer. He was a brave man and that, and that he worked really, really hard. He was a very dedicated officer. Um, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody that was more committed to what he was doing. And, and you know, um, when, Ruben, um, when Ruben was killed, you know, the department was devastated. We hadn't lost an officer since 1971, and and um, and I had, I had never experienced that on the department, and and I guess a lot of officers hadn't either, and uh, it really it really hurt. I mean, it really hurt the department. Um, I think everybody on the department was impacted by it. The people that he worked for, his peers, and and uh, it seemed like everybody knew him, you know, and and uh, so. Um, when Reuben, when Reuben responded to that call, he was a narcotics officer and he was in plain clothes and, and patrol, patrol was dealing with it, you know? And, uh, but Reuben was very, very close and, and shots were being exchanged and, uh, and, and he, he couldn't stand by. You know, he, he, he had to respond, he had to assist. One of his brother officers was getting shot at and, uh, and, and he paid a very heavy price for it. The city paid a heavy price for it, losing Reuben Almanza. You know, if you, if you had a, a friend in Ruben Almanza, you had more, of, more like a brother than a friend. And um, I don't think, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was, you know, I, I, I'll put it to you this way. When, 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 Ruben, when Ruben was there, 
he had a he had the ability to to always contribute to the situation, regardless of uh, of how difficult it was. Uh, this you know this guy would always adapt, you know, and 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 we'd overcome any situation. I always felt very comfortable working around him. Um, he was a good man. He was a good father. You know, loving husband. And uh, and talked about his family. <clears throat> he was committed to his work. I know that this was something that he always wanted to do and he did it.